Hello and welcome everybody to the latest installment of the Coding Geeks Vanilla Forums How-Tos. Today I'll be teaching everybody how to establish a single sign-on procedure that will link your WordPress website with your Vanilla Forums user authentication system. By doing this, it will allow us to have one single sign-on to connect to both Vanilla Forums and WordPress. Um, by doing this, we will eliminate the need for duplicate accounts and it will make your users life much much easier whenever you start linking your discussion board with your WordPress website. It's a very easy um, procedure and should only take a few minutes so let's go ahead and get started so I'm not wasting your time. Um, if you guys followed my first video guide on Vanilla Forms we installed 2.1 beta. Uh, 2.1 beta is incredibly stable for its beta state I've used beta software in the past that was not nearly as stable as Vanilla Forms 2.1, but unfortunately it does have a bug that we're going to need to address before we can continue. And the first thing that we need to do to alleviate this bug is we need to make one single change in one file in our existing Vanilla Forms 2.1 beta install. We're going to do this by connecting to our web host using FTP. Um, in my case, I will be using WinSCP because today I'm on a Windows box. Normally I'm on a Mac. Today I've switched over to Windows for this tutorial. So I will be using WinSCP. And I have established a connection with my hosting company. And I'm going to browse to my Vanilla Forms install. And from that section, I'm going to go into the Applications folder, the Dashboard, and then Controllers. And I'm going to look for a file called class.settingscontroller.php. Since I'm using WinSCP, I'm able to double click on this file to edit it directly. And we're going to go down to line 895. Once there, we're going to comment out the line on 895. The line should read header self get message status or get status message 200 true 200. Make sure that is the only line that you're commenting out, and we're going to do that by simply inserting two forward slashes um, in front of the header text. By doing this, we're going to comment this line out, and it will allow us to enable and disable add-ons or plugins within the Vanilla Forms system. If you don't do this, once you upload the Vanilla Forms plugin we're going to be using, you will get an error message um, in your Vanilla Forms system, and you will not be able to uh, enable the necessary plugins. If you have already started playing with your Vanilla Forms uh, software and you've noticed this bug, do this, it'll fix it. And if you've already fixed it, great, continue on as normal. So as you can see, I've made the change. I've saved my file. I'm going to close this. And we're going to go ahead and upload our necessary plugins that we need to establish the link between our WordPress website and our vanilla form system. In order to do this, uh, you guys will find a zip file that I will make available uh, by the time this, this video hits YouTube. It will contain the two plugins that you need. There's one plugin for vanilla forms, there's one plugin for WordPress. Um, as I extract these to my desktop, I'll give you guys a little bit of a description. Um, unfortunately, there is a Vanilla Forums official plugin that's available on the WordPress website. It does not work for single sign-on. I have tried and tried to make it work. I'm sure if you read their their plugin uh, website on WordPress, you'll see the same thing. So, fortunately for us, there is a separate standalone plugin called WP Vanilla Connect that we'll be using that works very well and is very reliable. So don't try to use the official Vanilla Forms plugin. If you do, I guarantee you your single sign-on will not work. Um, in my extracted files, you're going to notice I've broken it up into upload to Vanilla, upload to WordPress. Since we are in our Vanilla Forms section of my hosting, I'm going to go ahead and upload that plugin first. It doesn't matter what order you add them in. Um, we're going to go to our forum section 
and I'm going to go to plugins. I'm going to do a simple drag and drop. Once that's done, I'm going to head over to my WordPress section, WP Content, Plugins Directory. I'm going to upload the Vanilla Connect WordPress plugin. Now that that's done, we're ready to start activating and configuring these plugins. In order to do that, we're going to start at our Vanilla Forms website. I already have my dash or my uh, page pulled up. I'm going to head over to my dashboard of my Vanilla Forms system. I'm going to look for the Add ons section, Plugins. Scroll down until we find the Vanilla JS Connect plugin and enable it. Now that we've done that, we're going to head over to our WordPress dashboard. Kind of the same scenario, plugins, installed plugins. And we're going to activate the WP Vanilla Connect plugin. After that's done, um, WP Vanilla Connect establishes itself under users. So we're going to go to users, WP Vanilla Connect. Um, if you guys notice, it's already going to have a client ID and a secret. We're going to leave those. Um, yours will be different because these get auto-generated uh, with your install. You can certainly scroll down here to the bottom and say regenerate and overwrite hashes if you want to. But we're going to take the defaults that it's already given us. We're going to tell WP Vanilla Connect where our forum is located. In my case, it's thecodinggeek.com forward slash demo forward slash forum. We're going to leave our cookie settings the same. And we are going to save our changes. Once you have saved your changes, we're going to go down to our uh, URL section and we're going to need these once we configure, in order to configure, uh, the vanilla forum system. So leave this open, head back over to your vanilla forums. Once again, scroll down in your plugin section until you find vanilla JS Connect and click settings. We're going to add a connection and now we're just going to do some copy and pasting. I'm going to head up to the top. First of all, I'm going to copy over my client ID. I'm going to copy over my secret. I'm going to give it a site name of Coding Geek Demo. Certainly adjust that as you guys see fit. My authenticate URL is provided here in the WP Vanilla Connect plugin. So we're going to copy that over as well. We're also going to copy the sign in and the register URL. And we're going to save in our vanilla forum section. At this point, it's saved and we want to test it. As you can see, it has successfully output a JSON. Yes, that is my email address. I have my admin username as well as my transient key and client ID. So we are good to go. Just going to hit the back button here. At this particular point, my Vanilla Forms install is linked with my WordPress install. I now have one single sign on. If a user registers in WordPress, that account will be available as a sign-on in uh, Vanilla Forms. 
the only got you with this system is that the vanilla forums login will still appear your users will not have to input a password but they will have to in they will have to uh, still click on the sign in button if you guys notice vanilla forms is recognizing that I am admin from my WordPress website and it's asking me to sign in a register uh, this is a little bit confusing at first because most of you are gonna say I'm already signed into WordPress why is it saying that I'm not uh, it's basically just a verification step at this point so we're going to click our sign in button and it's telling me I can either sign in with an already established separate vanilla forms username and password or I can simply click my admin user we I will show you in a later tutorial how we can actually get rid of this box so that it only presents us with our WordPress login I'm going to click admin it's going to want me to input my password because my session has expired with WordPress and as you can see I have now logged in I'm logged in at my WordPress website so my accounts are linked and there you go guys you now have a single sign on procedure to link your vanilla forms install with your WordPress website enjoy and stay tuned for the next guide um, not quite sure yet what the topic will be but stay tuned at and stay tuned and look for the codinggeek.com and uh, have fun